Okay, these are the pretty opals. Again, April 2nd. We watched him a few days ago, and um, they are building more every couple of days. I love the opals because of the opalescence, the color. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't have that many more opals left. Um, and uh, if anybody has some really pretty opals they'd like uh, to send me, I'll make sure that my caddisflies build them something beautiful. Hmm. Um, opals are quite expensive at times. I bought this several years ago from a mine in uh, Australia. And not sure I'm going to be able to order any more this year, but we'll see. People like to send me gems that they've found or bought around the country, around the world, and I will do my best to create some cases for you with the stones that you send me if you choose to do that. And here's one that's just started building there. in a little. It's crazy to watch them carry these big long cases being such a small little insect. Uh, they've got a lot of strength. Of course, being in the water makes it a lot easier for them, more buoyancy. Hmm. Like I said, after 17 years of doing this, it still amazes me. I still love to watch these guys. As they're cruising around. It's just an amazing thing. And it's beautiful. a little slippery on the bottom of this bin. I usually try to sandpaper it and make it a little rougher for them so they can grip onto the bottom. But this is about how far you'll see these caddisflies come out. Their body is basically protected by their case and uh, they have a little hook that hooks their bodies inside the case so you, you can try to pull them out but they're very hard to do that. They won't uh, come out very easily. Oh, I feel bad when you can't move like that. I'm stuck. Come on. There you go. He's got it going now. I think I'm going to stop the video so I can take a picture of him. He's very cool.